Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Quarantine Time with Celeste. I'm your host, Celeste Barbier, and today is the 68th episode of my show. Um, you know, there's a lot going on in the world right now. I try to stick to the positive news, but because of all that's going on today, I am drinking some positive energy tea because I feel like I need a big, healthy dose of positive energy to get this day started. I've had this tea on another episode before. This is a sweet tangerine flavor by Yogi, and it's an excellent tea, really good. I like it a lot. I tend to like citrus a lot, so, and it's very um, invigorating and, and wakes me up. I love the smell of citrus, and I love, um, yeah, the smell of this tea alone. So good, super good. Okay, so for birthdays today, we are celebrating Bob Hope's birthday. He was born in the year 1903. Isn't that crazy? I mean, he was just such an iconic figure throughout the um, 20th century. And uh, he said, I have seen what a laugh can do. It can transform almost unbearable tears into something bearable, even hopeful. So in the midst of crisis, in the midst of all the stuff that's going on in the world, Hopefully you can find some laughter, you can find some humor, you can find some fun. Um, if, you, if it just takes putting on some stand-up comedy, your favorite comic, or listening to it on the radio, or just being around your funny friends, the ones that know how to turn every situation into something light and humorous, that, that's so healing. And it's good because stress can really do a number on your health. So you want to make sure that you stay happy and fun and lighthearted and, and uh, you can still take in and, and digest what's going on in the world and be prepared and be able to face it. But taking negative energy into the world is not helpful, especially to yourself or to anyone else. Bob Hope also says, if you haven't got any charity in your heart, you have the worst kind of heart trouble. There we go. Kindness, charity, compassion. Those are the key factors that we need to remember to share in our experience as human beings. I also thought this was kind of a funny quote that he said, since we want a little bit of humor. He said, middle age is when your age starts to show around your middle. Like this, Bob? Right here? This this middle age? Or is this just my COVID-19? Now we are referring to the 19 pounds that we um, gained during this pandemic as the COVID-19. We got, we gained the COVID-19. Ugh, trying to be good. I'm, I've been going on my little fasting, trying to do tea and water and bone broth and, oh, anyway. So, uh, then it's also John F. Kennedy's birthday. He said, as we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. Okay. That is definitely something you can take to heart. And it is also Danny Elfman's birthday. You might know him as the uh, guy from Oingo Boingo. And he also is the composer for most of, um, I think, all of Tim Burton's films, honestly. He does a lot of haunting, spooky stuff. He's great. Um, he says, don't be what you're told to be. Follow your own path. Be your own person. Don't get held down by any, everyone else. So that's... Danny Elfman, John F. Kennedy, and Bob Hope for their birthdays today. It is also National Paperclip Day. Uh, not Operation Paperclip. We're just talking about the stuff that holds your papers together. Literally, paperclips have a day. Paperclips have a day. Sometimes I'm just shocked by what these national days, what kinds there are. It is also randomly National Coco Van Day. So... Coco Van is a chicken dish. If you didn't know, it has wine and mushrooms and like shallots or something in it. But anyway, it is National Coco Van Day. So if you want to look up that recipe, that might be something to serve up for dinner. All you need is some chicken and mushrooms and wine. Most of you guys have that unless you're vegans and don't have chicken in your house. Um, but anyway, so thank you guys so much for tuning into my show today. I hope you guys have a safe and good Friday. It is, yeah, it is Friday, May 29th, 2020. I don't know if I mentioned that, but it is Friday. Uh, I know some of us lose track as to what day it is. Tomorrow, I am doing my Celeste by Request concert from 2 to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So hopefully you'll tune on that on uh, my Celeste Barbier vocalist fan page. And uh, you guys have a wonderful rest of your Friday. And uh, just try to find some positive energy to drink in today. There's a lot going on in the world, okay? So don't get sucked into the news too much, but make sure to um, check in on your friends and your family and just keep a positive outlook and maybe do something humorous today. Have a wonderful rest of your afternoon, everyone.